afternoon good evening family welcome 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 to the mental house with me your host Khadija you know I really thought I was really past some of these um, conversations except I had a community meeting last night and the result of that meeting lets me know further know just how far we've come. Yes, yes, yes. And it also further lets me know how much further we got to go. Um, when you live in a mixed community or a community that is starting to regentrify, or and basically what that means is kick black folk out and take the property back that they didn't want because now they realize that it's prime area. Um, <clears throat> so what they do is they move in the neighborhoods and they begin to tell you that you're playing your music too loud. Um, you could have been there 50 years. They come in, been there a year. All of a sudden, they call the police on the um, residents. Ugh. And so when you have these meetings that take place, it's really imperative that you go because you really have to, you, you get to a certain point or a certain age where you just have to represent and you really don't give a damn what nobody thinks anymore. You used to try to bend and twist at some point. A lot of uh, us have, um, a lot of us have tried to compromise and, um, so, in, with all within the framework of fighting for justice, right? But the first thing I went in, in, in this meeting, the, the conclusions that I came away with is that there's some white folk that get it. It's clear. And there's some folks that don't. And the gap in between them is woo, real vast. Okay? Because they'll they'll have a civil war within their own group because of their ideology. And that's how deep it goes. You got some on the spectrum like a Viola Luso and then have a brother in the house like a David Duke or someone who is um, a Hitler-esque type of, of personality. You know, and it's really... Um, it's amazing to me because when you've been taught to hate somebody by virtue of your color, then your whole body, your whole mind, your whole structure is shaped different. You might not have the same stimuluses and the same responses to the stimuluses had you not been groomed to hate other individuals that are human beings. Okay. And when you do the research and when you follow the, the dots and then you realize what could cause such hatred of a people so, um, you know, unloved in a country that they pretty much built 
for the the next inhabitants. And when you think about the contributions and the stolen legacies that you've uh, taken from these people, you would think that you would honor them a little bit more. You think you would uh, do like the scriptures say, honor your mother and father. That you, especially when you realize who's the original per people on the planet, but your arrogance won't allow you. A lot of you, not all of you, and I gotta make sure I'm clear, right, KW? Um, and I gotta make sure I'm clear about this because there was clearly some people in this meeting that got it, and they were like, you know what? This is welcome to white supremacy one on one. Um. But like I told um, most of the people that were in the room, and I'm going to say it now, that when you got a myth, I want you all to think about what kind of monster this creates when we talk about Frankenstein. When you have created a, a myth for your whole race, uh, screaming that the country is yours, uh, that they want your country, you want your country back, the country belongs to white Americans. Jews will not replace you or, or, or whatever. Or any of these craziness, um, you know, spew rhetoric. Those are all myths. Those are all psychoses. So you're dealing with a people, actually, and I have to say this, when you built on that type of lies, what can come out of that except the uh, people that have been fed this, spoon fed this, these lies have to be mentally ill. They have to have, some of them have to have a certain amount of psychosis that it can not, it can, it has to be addressed. Because I always say, who evaluates the evaluator? I see white folks going around in these elite strands. They go around evaluating every person, every group, every. But no one is evaluating their psychic. That their need to control and their bloodthirst is just overbearing and always have been ever since the berserker and the viking. Your thirst for blood and conquest and conquering uh, pe other inhabitants is just it's played out now. It's barbaric. And it's really you've been showing people who you are for centuries and centuries and centuries. However, to mention this, and to point this out, you want to do what they call a mind screw and then say the person is racist. So I ask again, who evaluates the evaluator? Because the fact, when you got people screaming back, taking back America, America is ours. The fact is that the natives are, don't, weren't European of this land. The indigenous people of this land is brown and black. So how the hell are you so psychotic that you think it belongs to you? This is what I want all the good white people to do that's under the sound of my voice. Is just look at your stinking thinking and maybe you can be saved. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But my job is just to say, listen here, I got to walk in truth. And I can't give a damn about your feelings. Facts over your fucking feelings. I don't give a damn about your feelings. My ancestors have been brutally brutalized by people whose mindset are so psychotic that now the earth can't even afford you no more. You got the universe rebelling against your psychotic behavior. Okay? How delusional must some people be to think they can claim I mean, something that they stole. What does that do to them? And then they call it manifest destiny. Yet the people, they're right now today, they're putting people in jail in this corrupt judicial system for stealing, robbing, murdering. Now, oh, what... What do you call the majority of white people who buy into that 
type of psyche. They're mentally ill. They're delusional. And I'm not saying they're all like that. Because there's some white people that get it. Father God Groppy got it. The Viola Uso got it. Listen, I don't have to go up here and go down the names of white people that got it. It To me, I have to say this. It's, to, you know, first of all, to continue to have the legal depart uh, departments practice racism towards other groups, you know, in a country that you are not a native of. It's just the epitome of white arrogance. It's a pity. It's the epitome of it. And that's why you can, so a, a good amount of you, especially white males, can storm the Capitol and talk about you taking your country back. And a lot of y'all were military trained. A lot of you were police officers. We found out it was all across the gamut. So I think it's reasonably safe to ask any one of you, especially if, if it's one of y'all who listened to this commentary, what makes you think this country is yours? How crazy and psychotic are you to think that somebody was here first, like Christopher Columbus discovered America, but people were here. How crazy are you? And who can we trust at this point to give y'all berserkers and Viking uh, mentality type a psyche evaluation? Because you're all in Congress. You're all in all these institutions. You're judges. You're on the Supreme Court. You've infiltrated the police departments, the judicial system in every state in these United States, snakes. You know, and I don't want to hear about somebody saying something. I'm just saying just right here because it's like y'all can see the analogy when you're talking about sports. So why won't you do it to the human family when it comes to America? Y'all white men love sports so much that the losing team will get the first round pick. He'll presumably get the best so he can take the lowest team and make him better. So y'all get the concept. But you won't do it for black people. Black and brown. You won't do it. You know, all I can say is how I maneuver through this world is like this. For all of y'all who get mad and you're going to probably show up in the commentary or shoot me an email or just say something crazy, I really want you to think um, of, of your history and how you've shown up in life. Don't just start this week or start with Donald Trump because he's not... The, the orchestrator of this, he's he's a symptom of the gaslighting, the narcissistic behavior that we have bred in America. And I don't care what nobody say. Y'all, we have bred the most narcissistic white men in America. And they were continue to be supported and nurtured by white women who are just as deadly as their counterparts. And then you kept going with this narrative that everything black is ugly and nasty and, you know, evil and everything white is good. Like the devil's food cake and the angel food cake. And y'all created a narrative for a group of people all over the world that it's just nothing but hatred and it shows the heart of what you are because you are jealous of a people that you don't possess with their magic. I know that's what it is. 
So for all of you who are going to say, I'm exaggerating and I'm going crazy, all of y'all, any of y'all that was in that meeting last night, feel free to make your comment. Feel, feel free. Because a lot of y'all listen to me and, and turn my videos on in silence. Okay? But I'm going to tell you something. Like I was always taught. Most of y'all are snakes. You know? And that can, snakes can be black or white. Let's get that straight. Um, because what has happened that you've created a mindset now on the planet because the people have been raised by you. So there's, if, unless they have come up from under you, then they have the same corrupt, decayed, more, more, moral, moral fabric that you have. Okay. In terms of the dominant society. So I have to look at this as when we, just as we talk about snakes. Oh, you got your pythons, you got your boa constrictors, you, you got your black mambas, you got your uh, rattlesnakes, you got all those snakes, etc., etc., etc. Poisonous. And dangerous. And you already know. You try to avoid them at any cost. But you might have to chop the head off. Of the snake. Because you already know what he's capable of. And then you have the garden snake. Who's pretty much harmless. It wants to get along with nature. It's one with nature. Right? <laughs> it's not a predator snake. Should I say? But my job is to recognize that you're all snakes and to treat you as such and be aware of the energy that you bring. If you bring energy like a python or a rattlesnake or a bull constrictor, I'm going to pick it up on it instantaneously. Because I've been around, I've been indoctrinated in this United States of America. So I can smell your racism coming. Disguised as, oh, I just wanted to see. Oh, I was just, you know. And I try to stay open. and Because that's the only thing I can do to make myself remain objective. So, all I'm saying is, if... I continue to listen to y'all and y'all not thinking anything about how other people feel from another perspective, then I know you're arrogant and you pompous and you really don't care about nothing but yourself. And then that is why the world is in the situation that it's in right now. Okay. So I'm going to lead this conversation to where it is. So all of y'all who participated, Y'all know who you are. And again, I'm going to close with what I closed it with. Why don't you try to read some black authors, um, you know, and uh, uh, doctors as well as like the Hales or um, maybe, you know, read, mix up your reading. Uh, a little bit. And I love Louise Hay. I think she's wonderful. Um, and those books are, and they have their place. But when you start, what your job is to understand history, because history is gives you a blueprint of how we got here. How about reading Richard Rothschild, The Color of, of Law? Um, you'll find out a lot. How about I'll tell you a good one. Why don't you read Hannibal? If you want to go back a little further, the point I'm trying to make, people, y'all have to be willing to see how we got here. You have to be willing to see how we got here. Because that's the only way y'all going to fix some stuff. I'll be off the planet by the end. And hopefully y'all, you know, will continue to grow into a more perfect union. 
Because if we don't, this experiment is over. Like I said last night, because the day the day of the master slave, the way it was before, ooh, uh-uh. It can't go down. It can't happen. It just can't. So with that being said, I got my rant off for the day, and I had to do it. Um, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. Please follow me on uh, Twitter, like the on Khadija Anwar on Twitter, um, and share the video, like the video, you guys. I don't what ask you for talk? much. I ask you to like the video, to share the video, the be able to, you know, see because. That. It really helps with what we're trying to do here. Good morning, Howie. Look, this should be the oh, trial Lord. of the century. It you really helps with what we're trying to do here. Sheikh Mohammed will be in that court um, tomorrow with four other defendants. With the analytics and things of that nature. But a lot of people have long ago stopped paying attention because so, we're in the ninth year of pre-trial. If you could do that, and that's why one of the we would really appreciate it, okay? I'm trying to turn this other. Now, one reason it's taking so long is these are newly created military... So meaning, um, try to walk a mile in somebody else's moccasin, okay? So thank you for allowing me to come and bring it to you today. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next video. And please follow the links below and um, support the channel. Thank you.